So I have here a few questions just um, from different people <coughs> about, you know, because just looking at like, what do you ask when you come to a class like this? So like, what other questions that people have? Like, I remember, you know, like just for everyone who's watching or listening, like Danielle and I were recently in India and we started asking people like, hey, if you could uh, like ask any question, like one question, ten questions, whatever, um, in a right body for you class, what would it be? Because we just wanted to know like what was going on in people's heads. And nobody could come up with anything. It was like their minds went blank because having almost like so much choice and like I could ask anything and at the same time, what is the right question? How do I not get it wrong? Do I really go there and admit I haven't been able to change this or am I supposed to be okay with my body or you know all these different things which was so interesting and the other day we were having a conversation um, with a friend who said to both me and Danielle um, well I had I just had a chocolate bar for dinner is that wrong is that right <laughs> like what do I do with that and I love that because like those are the things that we all do every day and it's like the day in and day out choices like the small choices that make the difference where so often we feel like we're going to like find this golden goblet that's just going to give us the one answer that will rule all and change everything when really it's like all this like smaller choices that you make every day. Can you talk about that? Yeah, you know, and I did, I loved it when she asked that. She's like, um, I had a chocolate bar for dinner, is that wrong? <laughs> and what I love about access tools and the right button for you tools is nothing's wrong and nothing's right. Because um, it's so often the things that we have, we think we have right that sticks us, which is why when we're talking in that previous question about, um, you know, well, when I was 20, I did this diet and I lost 100 pounds. So you think you have it right, so you try to recreate that, even though you're different now. Um, and so that's what there is no right, there is no wrong, um, and. We are always looking for that big hallelujah moment and, you know, the heavens open and the angels sing and from, you know, the music montage starts in the movie and then from that moment on everything's just amazing and great and, you know, you never think about thought and you never have a bad day again. Um, but it, it really is those what seem like small choices that shape our body shape our lives. Like, I had a chocolate bar for dinner. I'm wrong, right? And what that is actually doing is solidifying that point of view of you're wrong, nothing changes, and that well, and that chocolate's bad because what if chocolate wasn't bad? <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so our life is actually made up of these I don't even want to call them smaller choices mm -hmm. but is what this reality would consider you know a small choice but what if that small choice is the big choice that you've been waiting for um, what if the change comes subtly like a breeze instead of the big fanfare and trumpets you know that we're waiting for what if it's just you know what hey this is it and your universe gets easier what if getting easier is the trumpet fair that we're waiting for that seems so much easier than an actual <laughs> <laughs>